The State University of New York at Buffalo is a public research university with campuses in Buffalo and Amherst, New York, United States. It is commonly referred to as the University at Buffalo or Sunny Buffalo and was formerly known as the University of Buffalo. It has the largest enrollment, largest endowment and research funding as a comprehensive university center in the Sunny system. The university was founded in 1846 as a private medical college, but in 1962 merged with the Sunny system. As of 2018, the university enrolls 31,503 students in 13 colleges, making it the largest public university in New York. In addition to the College of Arts and Sciences, the university houses the largest state-operated medical school, dental school, education school, business school, engineering school, pharmacy school, and also features the only state law school, architecture and urban planning school in the state of New York. The university offers over 100 bachelors, 205 masters, 84 doctoral, and 10 professional areas of study. According to the Carnegie Classification of Institutions of Higher Education, the University at Buffalo is a doctoral university with the highest research activity R1. In 1989, UB was elected to the Association of American Universities. UB's alumni and faculty have included a Prime Minister, astronauts, Nobel laureates, Pulitzer Prize winners, three billionaires, Academy Award winners, Emmy Award winners, Fulbright Scholars, and Rhodes Scholars. U.S. President Millard Fillmore was one of the school's principal founders and served as the school's first chancellor. In the Wall Street Journal, Times Higher Education 2017 inaugural ranking, UB was ranked as the number one public university in New York and number 28 in the nation. Buffalo has consistently placed in the top cluster of U.S. public research universities and among the overall top 30 research universities according to the Center for Measuring University Performance and was ranked as the 38th best value for in-state students and the 27th best value for out-of-state students in the 2012 Kiplinger rankings of best value of national universities. U.S. News & World Report's 2019 edition of America's Best Colleges ranked UB 89th on their list of best national universities and 38th among public universities. History City leaders of Buffalo sought to establish a university in the city from the earliest days of Buffalo. A "'University of Western New York' was begun at Buffalo under the auspices of the Presbyterian Church and property was purchased at North Street and College, the site of the later YMCA, on the north side of the Allentown District. This university was chartered by the state on April 8, 1836. However, the project collapsed and no classes were ever offered, and only the layout of College Street remains. The University of Buffalo was founded on May 11, 1846, as a private medical school to train the doctors for the communities of Buffalo, Niagara Falls, and surrounding villages. Future U.S. President Millard Fillmore, then a lawyer who had recently served in the United States House of Representatives, was one of the principal founders. James Platt White was instrumental in obtaining a charter for the university from the state legislature in 1846. He also taught the first class of 89 men in obstetrics. 
State Assemblyman Nathan K. Hall was also particularly active in procuring the charter. The doors first opened to students in 1847 and after associating with a hospital for teaching purposes, the first class of students graduated the medical school in July 1847. Fillmore served as the school's first chancellor, a position he held until 1874, even as he served in other capacities during that time, including controller of New York, U.S. vice president, and eventually president. Fillmore's name now graces the continuing education school Millard Fillmore College on the South Campus as well as the Millard Fillmore Academic Center, an academic and administrative services building at the core of the residential Joseph Ellicott Complex, on the North Campus. Initially, the university did not have its own facilities, and early lectures were given at an old post office on Seneca and Washington Streets in Buffalo. The first building specially built for the university was a stone structure at the corner of Main and Virginia Streets, built in 1849–50, through donations, public subscription, and a state grant. There were continuous expansions to the college medical programs, including a separate pharmacy division, which is now the School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. In 1887, a law school was organized in Buffalo, which quickly became associated with Niagara University just to the north of Buffalo. After four years, in 1891, the law school was acquired by the University of Buffalo as the University of Buffalo Law School, which had a downtown Buffalo facility. In the first few years of the 20th century, the university began planning for a comprehensive undergraduate college to complete the basic structure of a university, and in 1909 the university acquired the Erie County Almshouse grounds from the County of Erie, which became the University of Buffalo's initial campus. The establishment may have been influenced by the 1910 Flexner Report which criticized the preparation of the medical students at the university. With that additional space, in 1915, the then University of Buffalo formed the College of Arts and Sciences, creating an undergraduate division in addition to its prior educational work in the licensed professional fields. In 1916, Grace Millard Knox pledged $500,000 for the establishment of a Department of Liberal Arts and Sciences in the University of Buffalo, which was at the time still a private institution. The initial gift of $100,000 was for the purchase of what would become Townsend Hall, and the remainder was to establish the university's first endowment, in her husband's name, to support the department. In 1950, the Industrial Engineering Department branched off from the Mechanical Engineering Department. In 1956, a civil engineering department was formed under Lehigh University graduate Robert L. Ketter, who went on to become Dean of the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, and later President of the University. In 1959, WBFO was launched as an AM radio station by UB's School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, and run by UB's students. The station has since become the launching pad of two modern national public radio personalities, Terry Gross and Ira Flatter. In 1961, the Western New York Nuclear Research Program was created. This program installed a miniature, active nuclear fission reactor on the university's South Main Street campus. This program was not particularly active, nor could it compete with other government run research labs. Consequently, the programs performed in this facility were abandoned somewhat shortly after its inception. 
This reactor was decommissioned in 2005 with little fanfare due to material security concerns. Topic: <laughs> Acquisition by the Sunny System and Second Campus. The private University of Buffalo was purchased by and incorporated into the State University of New York system in 1962, and became known as the State University of New York at Buffalo. This acquisition was championed by then Governor of New York, Nelson Rockefeller. As a part of the agreement to merge the university into the Sunny system, the state began to build an extensive second campus for the university. In 1964, the state acquired several hundred acres in the town of Amherst on the northeast of Buffalo, for development as a comprehensive campus for most of the non-medical disciplines at the University at Buffalo. This is often called the North Campus, it is the center of most university at Buffalo activities. The North Campus project included several major buildings, dormitory complexes, a separate spur of the Interstate Highway, and a new lake. The undergraduate college, the law school, and graduate schools were all moved to the new campus. During the late 1960s, the College of Arts and Sciences was divided into three separate schools, Arts and Letters, Natural Sciences and Mathematics, and Social Sciences. During the 1998–1999 academic year, the three schools were reunited to re-create the existing College of Arts and Sciences, when the faculties of Arts and Letters, Social Sciences, and Natural Sciences and Mathematics were combined, according to a memorandum issued by the State University of New York. Since 1989, UB has been a member of the Association of America American Universities AAU, an organization of 62 leading research universities in the United States and Canada. UB President Satish K. Tripathi serves on the AAU Board of Directors. UB 2020 Started in 2004 under President John B. Simpson, UB 2020 is a strategic planning initiative to develop and implement a vision for the university over the next 15 years. The centerpiece of UB 2020 is to add about 10,000 more students, 750 faculty members and 600 staff, increasing the size of the university by about 40%. UB 2020 also recognizes the university's contribution to the surrounding region. The most recent estimates of UB's impact on the local and regional economies of Western New York report approximately $1.7 billion are brought into the local economy from the presence of UB. This figure is also expected to rise by 40%, corresponding with UB's institutional growth. One of the keys to helping UB achieve the goals of the UB 2020 plan, proponents say, is the passage of S2020 and A2020 known as the UB 2020 Flexibility and Economic Growth Act, by the New York State Legislature. On June 3, 2009, the State Senate passed S2020 and sent the bill to the Assembly for their consideration. The current president, Satish K. Tripathi, has continued his vocal support of UB 2020 and has been actively engaging in campus-wide discussion on the proposed tuition increases introduced by the bill. In 2011, the School of Medicine and Biomedical Sciences received an anonymous donation of $40 million from an alumnus who had graduated from the university during World War II. 
The donation will contribute to the $375 million project which will relocate the School of Medicine and Biomedical Sciences to UB's downtown campus. The new school will be designed by Hock Architects. From FY2011 to FY2012, UB had spent over $300 million on the strategic plan to construct and open four new buildings, including Davis Hall, William R. Grainer Residence Hall, the Clinical and Translational Research Center and Collider Health Medical Research Building, and Crossroads Culinary Center. On August 22, 2013, President Barack Obama came to UB's campus to give a speech about needed higher education reform in the country. President Obama highlighted UB's accolades and specifically chose Buffalo for its excellence and commitment to the future, graduation rates and retention, and quality education at an affordable price. As of 2015, the UB 2020 initiative, Heart of the Campus, will be implemented on each of UB's three campuses in phases. The new School of Medicine is also being constructed with additional funding from the NYSUNY 2020 legislation and from a donation of $30 million. Name The university's official legal name is State University of New York at Buffalo. The more commonly used name and the school's formal academic name is University at Buffalo, informally, UB. This name is similar to the university's former name of over 100 years, University of Buffalo. Other names like Sunny Buffalo, Sunny at Buffalo and Buffalo are also commonly seen. The university's athletic department, particularly on uniforms use the name Buffalo. <laughs> Administration and organization Buffalo is a public university and is one of four university centers of the 64 campuses in the State University of New York which enrolled 467,991 students and employed 88,024 academic staff in 2014. SUNY is governed by an 18-member board of trustees, of which 16 vote. Fifteen of the voting members are appointed by the Governor of New York and the remaining voting member is elected by students as President of the Student Assembly of the State University of New York. The other two members are non-voting faculty from the University Faculty Senate and Faculty Council of Community Colleges. Carl McCall is the chairman of the SUNY Board of Trustees and Nancy L. Zimfer is the chancellor of the SUNY system. Satish K. Tripathi was appointed by the SUNY Board of Trustees as the 15th president of the University at Buffalo in April 2011, becoming the first international-born president the school has had. He previously held a six-year tenure as the UB Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs. He receives compensation of $385,000, $115,000, and $150,000 annually from each of the University, Sunny Research Foundation, and the UB Foundation respectively. The University at Buffalo Foundation was chartered in 1962 as an independent non-profit corporation and is controlled by a privately appointed board of trustees. 
It serves as a vehicle to raise private funds for the university, develop real estate, and manage endowment investments on behalf of the university. The foundation managed a $685.2 million endowment for FY2011. UB is organized into 13 academic schools and colleges. The School of Architecture and Planning is the only combined architecture and urban planning school in the State University of New York system and offers the only accredited professional master's degree in architecture and is one of two Sunny schools that offers an accredited professional master's degree in urban planning. In addition, the Buffalo School of Architecture and Planning also awards the original undergraduate four-year pre-professional degrees in architecture and environmental design in the SUNY system. Other degree programs offered by the Buffalo School of Architecture and Planning include a research-oriented Master of Science in Architecture with specializations in historic preservation, urban design, inclusive design, and computing and media technologies, a PhD in urban and regional planning, and, an advanced graduate certificate in historic preservation. The College of Arts and Sciences was founded in 1915 and is the largest and most comprehensive academic unit at UB with 25 academic departments, 12 academic programs, and 21 centers and institutes across the humanities, arts, and sciences. The School of Dental Medicine was founded in 1892 and offers accredited programs in DDS, oral surgery, and other oral sciences. The Graduate School of Education was founded in 1931 and is one of the largest graduate schools at UB. The school has four academic departments, Counseling and Educational Psychology, Educational Leadership and Policy, Learning and Instruction, and Library and Information Science. In academic year 2008–2009, the Graduate School of Education awarded 472 master's degrees and 52 doctoral degrees. The School of Engineering and Applied Sciences was founded in 1946 and offers undergraduate and graduate degrees in six departments. It is the largest public school of engineering in the state of New York. UB is the only public school in New York State to offer a degree in aerospace engineering, the School of Law was founded in 1887 and is the only law school in the Sunny system. The school awarded 265 JD degrees in the 2009–2010 academic year. The School of Management was founded in 1923 and offers AACSB accredited undergraduate, MBA, and doctoral degrees. The School of Medicine and Biomedical Sciences is the founding faculty of the UB and began in 1846. It offers undergraduate and graduate degrees in the Biomedical and Biotechnical Sciences as well as a MD program and residencies. The School of Nursing was founded in 1936 and offers bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees in nursing practice and patient care. The School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences was founded in 1886, making it the second oldest faculty at UB and one of only two pharmacy schools in the Sunny system. The School of Public Health and Health Professions was founded in 2003 from the merger of the Department of Social and Preventive Medicine and the UB School of Health-Related Professions. The school offers a bachelor's degree in exercise science as well as professional, master's and Ph.D. degrees. The School of Social Work offers graduate MSW and doctoral degrees in social work. 
The Roswell Park Graduate Division is an affiliated academic unit within the Graduate School of ARB, in partnership with Roswell Park Cancer Institute, an independent NCI-designated comprehensive cancer center. The Roswell Park Graduate Division offers five PhD programs and two Mega Siemens programs in basic and translational biomedical research related to cancer. Roswell Park Cancer Institute was founded in 1898 by Dr. Roswell Park and was the world's first cancer research institute. Topic Academics University at Buffalo is a large, public research university with very high research activity. The university has been accredited by the Middle States Commission on Higher Education since 1921. In 2009, the university awarded 4,036 bachelor's degrees across 74 undergraduate programs, 2,076 master's degree across 190 programs, 367 doctoral degrees across 83 programs, and 609 professional degrees across 18 programs. The State University of New York at Buffalo is often referred to as New York's public flagship university, the four-year, full-time undergraduate program comprises the majority of enrollments at the university which emphasizes a balanced curriculum across the arts, sciences, and professions. The university enrolled 21,607 undergraduate and 9,896 graduate students in the fall of 2018. Women make up 48% of the student body and 78% of the student body is from the state of New York. Over 7,000 students live on campus, 10,172 students live off campus, and 11,505 students commute. Despite this high number of commuters, over 70% of students live on campus their first year. Note the term off campus includes students who live in the residential apartments within the campus perimeter. Undergraduate tuition, room and board, and fees for New York State residents for the 2011-2012 school year totals $18,681 and costs to out-of-state residents totals $27,461. New York State also offers free tuition for all public college and universities for families who have an income of lower than $125,000 and are residents of the state. Other requirements to quality for free Sunny Buffalo education include full-time enrollment and staying in the state for a number of years after graduating. UB offered an early computer science major distinct from a mathematics major, University at Buffalo academic and professional faculty are represented by United University Professions. The two UUP chapters at the University at Buffalo are Health Sciences and Buffalo Center. United University Professions has over 34,000 members at 29 campuses of SUNY. The University at Buffalo is also one of only two public schools in New York to have a medical school and a dental school, the other being Stony Brook University. Sunny Buffalo is the biggest public university in New York and the fourth largest public university in the northeastern United States, behind only Temple University, Pennsylvania State University, and Rutgers University. Admissions <inaudible> 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 UB's admission is selective with high levels of transfer in as well as rolling admission deadlines. 
the university received 21,985 applications for the class of 2015, admitted 11,298 51.4%, and matriculated 3,154 27.9%. Among first-year students, 35% graduated in the top tenth of their high school class and the inter-quartile range was 500–610 for SAT reading, 550–650 for SAT math, and 24–29 on the ACT composite. The class of 2014 included over 900 merit scholars and 320 honors college students. Within the honors college, the average combined math and reading SAT score was 1382, and high school grade average for the incoming class was 97%. UB received 6,107 transfer applicants, admitted 3,623, and enrolled 1,850. Topic: Rankings and reputation. U.S. News & World Report's 2019 edition of America's Best Colleges ranked UB 89th on their list of «Best National Universities» and 38th among public universities. The Environmental Protection Agency EPA ranks UB first on their «Green Power List» of top colleges and universities. In the Wall Street Journal, Times Higher Education 2017 inaugural ranking of top colleges and universities, the University at Buffalo was ranked as the first best public university in New York and 28th best in the nation. The School of Engineering and Applied Sciences is ranked 61st. The Academic Ranking of World Universities ARWU, 2017 ranked the Civil Engineering Department 7th in the U.S. and 16th globally world. The School of Management is ranked 70th by U.S. News, 42nd by Forbes and 78th by Businessweek, making up the highest-ranked public business school in New York. The School of Education at UB is ranked 70th. The School of Public Health and Health Professions is ranked 31st. The School of Nursing is ranked 91st for Masters, 73th for Doctorate, with the Anesthesia Program ranking 10th in the nation. The School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences is ranked 22nd, the School of Social Work is ranked 24th, the School of Law is ranked 106th. UB was ranked the 53rd best college for veterans, the audiology program is ranked 17th, rehabilitation counseling is ranked 21st, speech-language pathology is ranked 30th, English is ranked 44th, library and information studies is ranked 39th, math is 73rd, physics is 85th, Fine Arts is 69th, Political Science is 76th, History is 92nd, Physical Therapy is 79th, Occupational Therapy is 32nd, Computer Science is 63rd, Chemistry is 76th, Statistics is 70th, Psychology is 63rd, and Clinical Psychology is ranked 50th. The Academic Ranking of World Universities ARWU, ranked the UB Dental School No. 10 in nation and No. 11 in the world for dentistry and oral sciences. U.S. News Ranking of Best Online Programs ranks UB 8th in Best Online Bachelor's Programs and 25th in Best Online Graduate Education Programs. In the World University Rankings 2019, Times Higher Education ranked UB at 201 to 250. 
U.S. News and Report ranked the university 253 on their Best Global Universities ranking in 2019. College Magazine ranked Sunny Buffalo number four in the Best Campuses for Out of State Students in Kipling as Best Values in Public Colleges. Of 2017, the University at Buffalo ranks 54th in the nation for in-state students and 70th in the nation for out-of-state students. In 2015, Sunny Buffalo was ranked number 15 in New York State by average professor salaries. Topic research Up houses two New York State Centers of Excellence out of the total 11, Center of Excellence in Bioinformatics and Life Sciences CBLS and Center of Excellence in Materials Informatics CMI. Emphasis has been placed on developing a community of research scientists centered around an economic initiative to promote Buffalo and create the Center of Excellence for Bioinformatics and Life Sciences as well as other advanced biomedical and engineering disciplines. Total R&D for the fiscal year of 2013 was at $360 million, ranking 61st nationally. Topic: Libraries. UB has nine libraries on its North Amherst, South Buffalo, and Downtown Buffalo campuses. The library's 3.8 million plus print volumes are augmented by extensive digital resources, including full text electronic journals, databases, media, and special collections, which include the world's single largest collection of James Joyce manuscripts and artifacts. Topic: Campuses. The University at Buffalo is the state's largest and most comprehensive public university and is spread across three campuses, North Campus, South Campus, and Downtown Campus. The Sustainable Endowments Institute's College Sustainability Report Card awarded the university a B+. UB was awarded the EPA Environmental Champion Award in 2015 and is ranked as one of the top 50 green colleges and universities in the nation, working towards becoming climate neutral by 2030. <laughs> North Campus The North Campus, a census-designated place also called University at Buffalo, located in the suburb of Amherst, began in the 1970s. Many academic programs, including the entirety of the Undergraduate College of Arts and Sciences, the University at Buffalo Law School, the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, the School of Management, the Graduate School of Social Work, and the Graduate School of Education, as well as Lockwood Memorial Library, Oscar A. Silverman Library, and many administrative offices, are located on UB's North Campus. The North Campus is home to administrative and academic offices. The main buildings are arranged along one academic spine. A second floor connecting corridor, that connects most of the main academic buildings. The whole campus covers 1,192 acres 5 square kilometers with 146 buildings containing 6,715,492 square feet 623,890 square meters, 10 residence halls and 5 apartment complexes. 
Its immense size also necessitated the creation of a shuttle system circling the academic sector and surrounding areas including the administrative complex, located nearly a quarter mile from the central academic area. When originally built by the state of New York, the North Campus was provided with two interstate exits, from I-290 and I-990, its own internal parkway, the John James Audubon Parkway, and two small lakes created from Ellicott Creek. As a census-designated place, the residential population recorded at the 2010 census was 6,066. The North Campus offers a variety of entertainment programming and activity for students. It contains the Student Union, which houses offices for the Student Association and Student Interest Clubs, Slee Hall, which presents contemporary and classical music concerts, Alumni Arena, the home court for university athletics, the UB Center for the Arts, a non-profit presenter of a wide variety of professional entertainment and university at Buffalo Stadium, the 30,000-seat football stadium. Topic. South Campus The South Campus, also known as the Main Street Campus, located on 154 acres (0.62 square kilometers) in North Buffalo, is the former grounds of the Erie County Almshouse and Insane Asylum, of which four buildings still remain: Hayes Hall, the former Insane Asylum; Wend Hall, a former maternity hospital; Hayes D. and Townsend Hall, a former nurses' quarters. Quarters. The college was designed by architect E. B. Green in 1910, and was intended to resemble Trinity College, Dublin. Its 53 buildings contain 3,045,198 square feet square meters and include six resident halls. This campus is served by the northernmost subway station on Buffalo's Niagara Frontier Metro Rail System. Today, the South Campus is home to the School of Nursing, School of Pharmacy, Dental School, and the School of Architecture and Urban Planning. The medical school is currently in the process of moving from South Campus to the new downtown campus in Buffalo. In addition, the University at Buffalo South Campus is the home of the WBFO radio station, the university's biomedical science research complex, the Health Sciences Library, and certain administrative offices. 20% of UB's resident population also continues to live in the original residential complexes located on the South Main Street campus. Topic. Downtown campus In 2002, UB commissioned Boston firm Chan Krieger to create a third campus center. The downtown campus is the site of UB's New York State Center of Excellence in Bioinformatics and Life Science, which partners in research with UB's Ira G. Ross I Institute as well as the Roswell Park Cancer Institute and Hauptmann Woodward Medical Research Institute to compose the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus. The medical campus, which is designed to meet LEED Silver criteria, incorporates high efficiency lighting, heat recovery systems, and an Energy Star roof. Also located in the downtown area is UB's Research Institute on Addictions RIA, Educational Opportunity Center and the Jacobs Executive Development Center 
The campus includes six major properties and a total of 43 buildings, counting shared lease space 588,506 square feet 54,674 square meters. In September 2007, UB added the former M. Weil and Company factory building on the southeast corner of Goodell and Ellicott Streets and the former Trico Products Corp. building complex on the northwest corner of Goodell and Ellicott Streets to its properties downtown. The UB Regional Institute, Center on Rehabilitation Synergy, and a number of pre-K-16 initiatives related to UB's civic engagement mission, such as the UB Buffalo Public Schools Partnership Office, are set to relocate to the first site. The latter location has been purchased to house additional biomedical and life science related businesses connected to the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus. Topic: Teaching Hospitals. UB's teaching hospitals include Buffalo General Hospital, the Erie County Medical Center (ECMC), Millard Fillmore Hospital, Roswell Park Cancer Institute, and Veterans Affairs Western New York Health Care System. Additional facilities include free clinics such as the Collider Health's Niagara Family Health Center and the Lighthouse Free Medical Clinic, a program run by UB Medical Students. UB Art Galleries UB is home to two university art galleries, the UB Anderson Art Gallery and the UB Art Gallery at the Center for the Arts. Adjacent to the UB South Campus is the UB Anderson Art Gallery, a converted elementary school with an all-glass atrium exhibit space. The UB Anderson Gallery hosts exhibitions curated by faculty and visiting curators and features works from international and professional artists in its two-floor facility. The UB Anderson Gallery building, along with over 1,200 works of art, was donated to the university in 2000 by collector and gallery owner David K. Anderson, son of legendary New York gallerist Martha Jackson. Selections from the personal collection of Martha Jackson that was donated to the UB Anderson Gallery by David Anderson are on display in a 360-degree permanent installation in the Martha Jackson Gallery Archives and Research Center, on the second floor of the gallery. The UB Art Gallery at the Center for the Arts is located on the North Campus, and features works from contemporary artists, as well as faculty and students across disciplines. Topic. Comprehensive Physical Plan The University at Buffalo has grown to an enrollment of approximately 30,000 undergraduate and graduate students, and a staff of 14,000 employees, across three campuses in the last 160 years. In order to accommodate both students and faculty, the university is currently implementing a $4.5 million comprehensive physical plan to help in growth as well as to best utilize and enhance current facilities. Connecting all three campuses, as well as the facilities ARB uses, is also a major element of the project. The firm granted the contract to lead the project is Bayer Blinder Bell. The comprehensive physical planning process is broken into four phases. Currently, ARB is implementing Phase 1 by seeking input from the local and university communities to pinpoint issues, opportunities, and concerns related to this expansion. 
The project recognizes UB's potential for excellence, in regard to the university's physical environment, by highlighting and evaluating various positive and negative attributes of the three campuses, including housing, circulation, functionality, landscape, and community interface. Student life Topic Associations and activities UB has two student run periodicals, The Spectrum and Generation Magazine. Both publications are distributed on campus. The Spectrum is the only independent publication. Generation is funded by advertising and through Sub Board I, the Student Services Corporation. UB also has a student radio station, WRUB. WRUB broadcasts all UB home football games and select road games, as well as most UB men's and women's home basketball games. After the retirement of John B. Simpson, the undergraduate students have also developed a university forum with the hopes of developing a thriving online campus. This move was supported by now incumbent President Satish K. Tripathi who called it a "...model of university spirit and entrepreneurship." The UB Student Alumni Association UBSAA annually hosts the world's largest collegiate mud volleyball game known as Ooze Fest. 192 teams of at least six students compete in a double elimination volleyball tournament at the Mud Pit each spring before finals. Fire trucks are brought in to saturate the dirt courts to create the mud. Awards are handed out to not only the victors, but the most creatively dressed. In the past, students have worn business suits and even dresses to the tournament. Held annually since 1991 has been the Linda Yalom Safety Run, formerly called the Linda Yalom Memorial Run. Linda Yalom was a sophomore at UB who was studying communications and training for the New York City Marathon when she was raped and killed by Altemio Sanchez after going for a run on the Ellicott Creek bike path on September 29, 1990. The run is held every year in her memory and to promote safety for runners. In 1923, an honorary senior society called Bisonhead was founded. It has since represented 12 undergraduate leaders at UB each year. Many of UB's clubs, such as the UB Accounting Association, are run through the Undergraduate Student Association and the Graduate Student Association, with each level requiring respective Senate recognition for clubs. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Student Housing. Student residence halls are located on both the north and south campuses. On the north campus, there is the Ellicott Complex, which consists of Fargo, Porter, Red Jacket, Richmond, Spalding, and Wilkeson Quadrangles. The Ellicott Complex is also known as Lego Land because the shapes of the buildings resemble Legos stacked upon each other. Next to Fargo Quad is the newly built in 2011 Grainer Hall, a dorm strictly for sophomores. Also on North Campus is the Governor's Complex, home to the Freshman Honors Housing and various other living communities. There are also off-campus housing options close to the North Campus such as the Triad Apartments. On South Campus is Goodyear and Clement Hall. The unique aspect of these dorms is that residents share a bathroom with the adjacent room, rather than have a communal bathroom. 
Up until spring of 2011, there were four other dorm buildings, referred to as the Quad, McDonald, Pritchard, Shulkoff, and Michael Hall. Michael Hall currently exists as the Student Health Center, the other three are not in use. In 1999, the university built its first apartment complex for families and graduate students at Flickinger Court. Since the success of Flickinger, UB has developed South Lake Village, Hadley Village, Flint Village, and Creekside Apartments. Most students who wish to still live on or near the North Campus but enjoy the lifestyle of apartment living take advantage of these apartments. University Village at Sweet Home, Villas at Wrench, and Villas at Chestnut Ridge are student apartment communities adjacent to the North Campus and offer a shuttle service. Collegiate Village off-campus apartments offers transportation to both North and South Campus. Students also find housing in private locations. Those locations are generally situated in the University Heights District of Buffalo, and other areas close to the North and South Campuses. The school assigns rooms based on a lottery system. Topic athletics The school's sports teams are known as the Buffalo Bulls, or UB Bulls. The women's teams were originally called the Buffalo Royals. The Bulls currently play in Division I, Division I FBS of the NCAA in football, and are a member of the Mid-American Conference MAC, for all sports except women's rowing, which is in the Colonial Athletic Association CAA. The Bulls have been a member of the Mid American Conference since 1998. The Buffalo Bulls field 11 men's and women's athletic teams in sports, although only nine team sports for both men and women are identified on the official website. Men's team sports at UB include those in football, basketball, track and field, baseball, wrestling, soccer, swimming and diving, cross country, and tennis. The Bulls women's teams feature basketball, track and field, cross country, volleyball, softball, soccer, rowing, tennis, and swimming and diving. Cheerleading is co-ed. The Bulls have had dozens of athletes turn professional in football, baseball, basketball, soccer, and volleyball. The mascot of UB's athletic teams is Victor E. Bull, a blue bull with a gold nose ring. The university is home to the thunder of the East Marching Band. The band performs at all home football games and travels to both local and national parades and competitions. Buffalo has three fight songs, Victory March, Go for a Touchdown, and Buffalo Fight Song. In March 2005, the men's basketball team reached the Mid-American Conference Championship game, but lost 79-80 to the Ohio Bobcats, thus missing a chance for the first trip to the NCAA tournament. In 2015 the Bulls won the conference championship game, and won the MAC tournament, making their first trip to the NCAA tournament. In 2016 the men's basketball team once again won the MAC championship game, making their second trip to the NCAA tournament in a row. In 2017 the program once again made the NCAA tournament and upset No. 4 seed Arizona in the first round, advancing to the second round, round of 32, for the first time in school history. In 2018 the men's Buffalo basketball program earned a national ranking for the first time as the number 25 team in the nation according to the Associated Press poll. The women's basketball team won the MAC championship and made their first trip to the NCAA tournament in program history in 2016. 
In 2017 the women's team made another trip to the NCAA tournament beating South Florida in the first round and Florida State in the second round, making the Sweet 16 for the first time in program history. The rowing program is an associate member of the Colonial Athletic Association. The women's rowing team won the CAA championship in April 2010 for the first time. In May 2010, the team won the Jack and Nancy Seitz Women's Point Trophy at the Dad Vale Regatta for the third year in a row. In 2015 UB's men track and field star, Jonathan Jones, became the first national champion in UB's Division I history when he won the shot put at the NCAA Outdoor Track and Field Championships. In 1958, the football team won the Lambert Cup, emblematic of supremacy in Eastern U.S. small college football. That led to the team's first bowl invitation, to the Tangerine Bowl in Orlando, Florida, against Florida State University. But the Bulls would be allowed to participate only if backup defensive end Mike Wilson and starting halfback Willie Evans, who were black, did not play. The team stood behind the two, and refused the bowl offer. Buffalo did not receive another bowl invitation until the 2008 season when they won the MAC championship against previously undefeated Ball State. Several UB football stars from the 1950s and early 1960s went on to play professional football, including quarterback John Stouffer with the American Football League's Miami Dolphins and Cincinnati Bengals, and defensive lineman Jerry Philbin with the AFL's New York Jets. Philbin is a member of the AFL Hall of Fame and the all-time All-AFL team. Philbin and UB's Willie Ross were the first two UB graduates to play on professional football championship teams in the United States, Ross with the 1964 AFL champion Buffalo Bills, and Philbin with the 1968 AFL champion New York Jets, who also won that season's AFL-NFL World Championship game Super Bowl III. James Starks was on the Green Bay Packers Super Bowl XLV champions as a rookie. Ramon Guzman played on the 2009 Grey Cup champion Montreal Alouettes. Khalil Mack was selected as the first-round fifth pick in the NFL draft, becoming Buffalo's first, first-round draft pick. Brandon Oliver has also risen to fame in the 2014 season as the running back for the Chargers. Notable alumni and faculty UB hails over 230,000 alumni who live in over 130 countries in the world. Among the individuals who have attended, graduated, or taught at the university are NASA astronauts Gregory Jarvis and Ellen S. Baker, Emmy-winning American journalist Wolf Blitzer, the Distinguished Alumni Award recipient and acclaimed dancer Roberto Villanueva, chairman and former CEO of A Plus E Networks Abby Raven, CEO of Paramount Pictures Brad Gray, billionaire and CEO of Baidu Robin Lee, Pulitzer Prize winner Tom Tolles, Nobel Prize winners, Ronald Coase, Herbert A. Hauptmann and Sir John Carew Eccles, and winners of the National Medal of Technology and Innovation, Norman McCombs, Wilson Greatbark, and Eric Bloch. Billionaire and owner of the Boston Bruins, Jeremy Jacobs, physicist Mendel Sachs, musician and civil rights activist Charles Mingus, 
pianist and composer Richard Arca Trifle, civil engineer, genealogist and author Angelo F. Canilio, scholar of medieval religion Carolyn Musig, creator of the BitTorrent peer-to-peer -peer client Bram Cohen, national public radio personalities Terry Gross and Ira Flatter, American actor, director, and producer Ron Silver, Academy Award-winning sound engineer Thomas Curley, and physician Mary Blair Moody, the first woman to earn a medical degree from the school. The painter Martha Visit Hooft taught at the university from 1956 to 1958. Among the athletes who have graduated from the university are football players Jerry Philbin, Narman Roosevelt, Brandon Oliver, Khalil Mack and James Starks along with soccer player Bobby Shuttleworth. Khalil Mack was drafted by the Raiders fifth overall in the 2014 NFL Draft. Mack holds the all-time NCAA record for forced fumbles and is also tied for career tackles for loss in the NCAA. In 2015, he became the first first-team All-Pro in NFL history to be elected in two different positions in the same year, as a defensive end and outside linebacker. Mack was named the NFL Defensive Player of the Year for the 2016 season. Over the years, the University at Buffalo has also been particularly distinguished in contemporary creative writing. Noted novelists who have taught on its faculty include John Barth, Raymond Faderman, and Anthony Burgess. Noted faculty poets include George Starbuck 1983 Lenore Marshall Prize, Charles Olson, Robert Creeley Bollingen Prize 1999, John Logan, Lenore Marshall Prize 1982, Irving Feldman MacArthur Foundation Fellow 1992, Carl Dennis 2000 Ruth Lilly Poetry Prize, 2002 Pulitzer Prize for Poetry, Robert Haas Poet Law Laureate of the United States 1995-97, 2007 National Book Award, 2008 Pulitzer Prize for Poetry, Charles Bernstein co-founder of the university's notable poetics program, Steve McCaffrey, and Susan Howe Bollingen Prize 2011. Former UB students include Michael Casey, Yale Younger Poets Award, Tony Petrosky, Walt Whitman Award, Donald Revel, 2004 Lenore Marshall Prize, Charles Baxter, Michael Davidson, and from the Poetics Program, Elizabeth Willis, Peter Gizzi, Juliana Spar, Jenna Osman, and Yunte Huang. Political leaders who have attended and taught at the university include Millard Fillmore, who served as the 12th Vice President and 13th President of the United States, Muhammad Abdullahi Muhammad, the 9th President, 21st Prime Minister, and leader of the Teo Party of Somalia, and Joe G., the former Mayor of Wuhan and Minister of Education of the People's Republic of China. Alumni have also served in the United States House of Representatives, including Jack Quinn, who also currently serves as president of Erie Community College and previously served as town supervisor of Hamburg, and William F. Walsh. Other lawmakers, such as New York State Assembly member Joseph Giglio and former New York State Attorney General and United States Attorney Dennis Vacco, are also UB graduates. <laughs> 